Hello, how's it go? This right here is not what this video is about, but it is kind of the reason for this video existing and for what it's about. This is the still basically brand new 2019 Mega Constructs large buildable Master Chief action figure or statuette. And in my review for that, that I already published not too long ago, I said that this is essentially, or could be thought of as a spiritual successor to this old Mega Blocks product from about a decade ago, a magnet based one. And when I published the review for this, immediately a number of viewers said, well, they already had something from around this era, but that was brick based, you know, that was actually built with studded plastic parts. And I was like, what? How come I have never heard of this phenomenon? So I Googled it and I found it and I bought this from 2008 to 2009. I think it was produced in 2008, released in 2009, the very first year, the beginning of the entire Mega Bloks Halo phenomenon when it started. This is part of the 10th anniversary series. So this is truly a spiritual successor to this thing, which I didn't know even existed until you guys told me about it. So thanks for that. I have now added this old thing to my collection and I'm happy about it. So it's a figure on a stand. It's not officially Master Chief. It's from Halo Wars. So it's just a Spartan 2. And it's pretty cool for its day. It comes with this cardboard backboard thing to give you a little bit of background. And there were three figures in this series. There's the green Spartan. There's a red Spartan who looks almost the same, except the green pieces are replaced with red. And uh, that one had dual wielding uh, SMGs. And then there's also a gray ODST that they did. So three in total for this series. This cardboard thing is beaten up a little bit. Each one had a slightly different portion of this scene, which would ultimately show you all of the products from that first year from Mega Bloks Halo. So let me go ahead and just take the figure off itself so we can focus on that. I'll just give you one good look at the base here because it does have some nice little texturing on it. Nice painting, you know, some hand work. Got a quick dry brush over the top. Like this is actually pretty nice. That's a print right there, but interestingly, this is a sticker, a big old sticker. All the stickers in this set, yeah, this was back in the day when Mega still used stickers. Uh, all the stickers are the exact same size as the space they need to occupy or slightly larger, which I, I just don't like. Made it a little bit difficult to put some of the stickers on this. And also the sticker sheet had uh, some die cut issues where not all of the, the edges were cut out properly, but I was able to rectify that by hand. So here's just the, the figure. Uh, it does have a few specialized pieces, a handful of specialized pieces. I don't know how many of them were reused, but you know, if you got this, this uh, robotic armor main body plate here on the front, which had multiple colors on it and came pre-printed, so you didn't apply that sticker, but most of the other things that you'll see on this figure that are decorations do involve stickers. And then the visor is its own piece, fits in there, comes with that really, really nice metallic finish on it. Uh, I think this is an existing piece, just a generic piece here for the top. It does have a couple stickers, but then the surround, basically the front of the helmet is a unique piece as well. And then underneath you've got a body. I believe they reused that body piece, that core body piece for some other large action, large action figure type things. And then they've got these specialized pieces for the, the joints. Now these are all friction joints that make use of a small little rubbery piece down in the in the middle of it. I'm just going to pop this off so you can see that exactly. There it is down in there. It's actually kind of kind of embedded in there, but it is a separate piece that you actually had to put in by itself and it it'll just fall out. I'm not going to knock it out right now cuz it'll probably roll away from me. This hair fuzz piece just keeps getting in my way. All right. But uh, it's not the same as the parts that they 
use most recently that are fully silicone and that will actually embed in and stay in place once you put them in place. There's a sticker that goes over multiple pieces. Well, that's not good. <laughs> we don't like that. This actually had pretty decent articulation. I uh, couldn't move the upper leg up all the way, but there's a pretty good range of motion in the knee there. These are all ball joints, so there's a lot that you could do. Ball joint down here for this fairly blocky foot. And, you know, there wasn't a lot of, of friction involved with this thing. That's just a BMO hair right there. Gosh, what is going on? It's his shedding season. Um, but, you know, it could hold itself up. It had waist articulation. This is going to be a terrible pose. <laughs> Worst pose ever. But it does give you an idea of, you know, how much, how much range that you did have with this this figure. Now, I am trying to be careful not to pull things apart, but this was a 2008 Mega Blocks set. And so all of the clutch power of all the pieces is kind of poor. The worst offenders are in the feet. Because when you pick this up off, you try to pick it up off of its stand, you know, you try to pull up on the foot from the side, and then all of this just comes apart like that. This actually, the, the entire set actually wasn't that bad. There were no missing pieces. There were no malformed pieces, you know, that were warped out of the, out of the mold. And, you know, nothing is too inconsistent. It's just consistently not so good, you know? Not, look at that. Look how easily that comes off. I just barely, barely touched that. I didn't even really try to rotate it. Just, you know, adjust it a little bit so I can go this way. But as soon as I start to turn... Careful, I can see, I can feel it already loosening up in there. So the pieces just, you know, they were 2008, 2009 Mega Blocks pieces. And there's a reason they got a bad reputation for quality. Is they just didn't do things as well as they should have. Thankfully, these days, they do so much better. So many problems have been, have been fixed, especially in the past five years. But, I mean, for its day, this wasn't bad. I probably wouldn't be saying that if I was missing a major piece or if there was a major malformed piece. That's the worst when you just can't fit two pieces together because they're all warped and messed up. The uh, the weapon, the shotgun, is actually a really nice piece and that is painted. It's it's a silver piece and then the black is painted on there for the, the foregrip and also the stock. So that's actually pretty nice. And the hands are printed around the back or painted around the back. So it's a combination of, of stickers and pre-applied prints and paint applications. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this thing. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to have it, you know, for its history that I didn't even know about. Thanks again to those of you who shared with me your experience of having had one of these things in the past. For the reason that I have this now, I'm going to add it to room 117 and it's just going to be on display, hopefully with not too many BMO hairs in there and uh yeah it's it's an interesting novelty these days and for a you know for a fan of mega constructs and old stuff and halo in particular i think it's it's a nice thing to have in the collection it's not great it's definitely not up to today's standards i wouldn't expect it to be this was quite a long time ago but it's it's much better than i expected I really feel like I got lucky though, because I do have some of the other sets from this same year. As a matter of fact, let me just let me show you something right here. Look at this. This is the old uh, the old instruction booklet. Look back there. There it is, number one, set number zero one, right there. I don't know why they started with nine six eight in particular, but zero one. I reviewed that. Still have it. Uh, I don't have most of these others. I do have the scorpion. But I don't have that, that, I, I do not like that. I don't think I ever did like that original, uh, original Warthog, the design of it. Uh, it's, it's one of the ones that I, I never was particularly interested in getting myself when they used to have the full displays of these. They would do, they would have a whole sealed diorama in an aisle at Toys R Us stores to get these going, to, to try to, to kick them off and then this is the aerial assault set that they did the 10th anniversary version of i also recently got the scorpion I haven't reviewed it as of the time of the recording of this video but will pretty soon 
So they're, they're redoing some of these. The, the new newest Hornet is not so good. The newest uh, Warthogs in general are very good. Uh, they've done plenty well on the on the ghosts. This is just showing you what the other two figures are. So this one that I just looked at is the green one in the middle. That's an ODST. And then just a red colored Spartan just to have something different. Same build though, just different colors. And that just shows how the backdrop gets folded up a little bit and stuck onto the back. It's the green UNSC Spartan 2 from the Mega Bloks Halo Wars, the Authentic Collectors series from 2009, officially. A uh, little little piece of history, a little, little bit of uh, you know, something that's frozen in time. It's cool. Thank you all again for letting me know about the existence of these. It will be on display in room 117 for quite some time, I hope. Hope you enjoyed this. Talk to you again soon.